Since Joe Biden took office, the typical family has lost over $7,400 in annual income. Think of that. Inflation is out of control. Banks are collapsing. Banks are going bad. That's a bad sign. You remember 1929, it started with the banks. Real wages are down 24 months in a row, the longest losing streak ever, ever, ever in our country. Think of that, real wages. That's what it's all about, is real wages. The trade deficit has surged to a record $1 trillion. Household wealth has declined by $4 trillion. These are numbers that nobody's ever seen before. You know, they stand up and they say, no, the economy is good. The economy is horrible. After Biden shut down the Keystone XL pipeline that I started and passed a $20 billion tax hike on American energy, gas prices in New Hampshire are up 53%. And your state, congratulations, you did have one good thing from this administration. You set a record, if you like records, but not like this. Your state has the highest electricity costs in the entire nation. Tell your governor he ought to work on that a little bit. You know that, Steve? You have the highest cost in the entire nation. I will quickly be able to cut that number in half or more than that. I'll do that. Nobody knew that. New Hampshire has the highest electricity cost. I think the highest energy cost, but highest electricity cost in the nation. Let's go to all electric cars. How does that sound, right? You have the highest electric cost in the nation. They don't want to give you they don't want you driving. You're like, how about driving for about an hour and 15 minutes? And then say, it's time to get a, time to get a charge.